This is Neymar, the world's most talented footballer, but he is considered the biggest waste of talent ever. But today that is going to change as I'm going to make Neymar Jr. the best player in the world. That's it, the game is over. Neymar has knocked out the World Cup. No Ballon d'Or to his name, no World Cup to his name. Neymar is the biggest <laughs> flop of the century. Neymar knocked out in the quarterfinals. Easily the biggest waste of football talent in football history. Neymar, it's been said that you have been given an ultimatum at PSG. Be the best player at the club and receive a new contract. Or fail and leave the club forever. I guarantee you, I will have the best season of my life here. There is no chance I will fail. I am tired of being second place. Come on, Neymar. I believe in you. But it's time for Neymar's first game of the season as PSG have given them an ultimatum. If he does well this season, he'll go ahead and be able to sign a new contract. But if he does bad, he'll be released from PSG and possibly his time at the top will be over. Will he fulfill his potential or be considered the biggest flop in world football? 85 minutes in, it's been a boring first game to the season here for Neymar, but who goes to keep it? Has the ball, gives it through ball. It's Neymar Jr. 1v1 against the goalkeeper. As he rebel flex past the goalkeeper, no way this goes in. Neymar, and it goes in. What a brilliant start to the season. Neymar, rebel flex the goalkeeper. Surely the media is going to go ahead and back him. That is magical. That is one of the best goals ever in the history of football. Can this kickstart Neymar's journey to become the best player in the world? And the ref blows the whistle. What a historic moment for football. What a historic moment for Neymar. That that can kickstart his career to fulfill his potential as he and his teammates lift the Super Cup in France football. Oh my days, Neymar has just scored the best goal of the season. Surely he'll come into form now. What a goal from Neymar Jr., the best goal I've ever seen. The greatest goal in world football has been scored by Neymar. He will win the Ballon d'Or. And now it looks like the media is on Neymar's side after that beautiful and historic moment. But it's time to kick off the League One season. PSG versus OGC Nice. Will Neymar have another outstanding performance? Messi with a beautiful 20-yard pass into Neymar Jr. Who is now 1v1 against the goalkeeper. Surely he's going to put this one on Neymar Jr. And it goes wide. And now it's Soler with the interception as he cuts back. But now he turns back with a through ball into Neymar. Can he go and score the goal? And yes, he has scored his first goal of the League One season. Surely that's going to be one goal of many. But now here comes OGC Nice on the ball as Diop does control the ball through ball into Nicolas Pepe. 1v1 against Gianluigi Donnarumma with a chip. And it looks like it's going to. Yes, it does. It goes in. OGC Nice have equalized. Carlos Soler with a brilliant love pass into Neymar. 1v1. Can he go ahead and win this game for PSG? And yes, he Neymar after that beautiful historic moment at the beginning of the season looks to have found his form as he scores a brace to possibly give PSG the first three points. But the ref does blow the whistle as Neymar's brace gives PSG the three points. He has now won them a trophy and the first three points but up next is at home versus FC Lorient. And now it's Lionel Messi on the ball with a brilliant through ball into Kylian Mbappe. The best player in the world is 1v1 against the goalkeeper and he puts it away. Not only is Neymar in form, but so is Kylian Mbappe. That may be a problem if both of them want to become the best players in the world. But now it's Nicolo Barella picks up the ball with a through ball into Kylian Mbappe who's looking for his brace and yes, he puts it away. PSG are 2-0 up against Lorient. And now it's Lionel Messi trying to look for Mbappe, but they do lose it, but Kylian Mbappe picks up the ball. It's still Kylian Mbappe. Julie pass, not passing it to absolutely anybody. It's still Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe looking for that hat trick, and he goes wide. He should have passed it to Neymar. Yo, Kylian, I'm open. Pass. Come on, man, I was open. Three games for PSG and Neymar, and that is three victories up for them as Neymar and Mbappe are in very good form. But now it's time to see if they can go ahead and keep their form against Reims. Eight minutes into the game, here comes Neymar who sees Mbappe, but he's going to take it all himself. It's still Neymar with a shot and he puts it away. Another goal for Neymar. That's his third of the season. 1-0 to PSG. Ney! Ney! Over here! Come on! Lionel Messi puts a pass into Kylian Mbappe, looking to make it 2-0 in two minutes. Can Kylian Mbappe do it? And yes, he does. This is going to be light work for PSG this season. Lionel Messi has a corner. He gives it to Neymar. He turns around. He's looking to cross it. No, he doesn't. It's still Neymar with a shot. Instead of crossing it, he puts it away into the back of the net. What a beautiful goal from Neymar. Ney, cross it! Cross! Come on, man. Twice already. And the ref 
blows the whistle, sealing another victory for Neymar and PSG. And Neymar and Mbappe's good form did not stop there as Neymar in the first Champion League game scored one goal. However, Mbappe outdid him when he scored two goals in the second Champions League game. These two guys are fighting for the top of world football, but the question is, who will become the best player in the world? So here we are at Stamford Bridge in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Neymar and PSG have had an amazing season, but they're only two games away possibly from reaching the Champions League final, which can help Neymar shut up the media and become the best player in the world. Edgar, why are you calling me? I'm about to play the biggest game of my career. I know, Neymar. I know. But this is very important, man. Have you heard of Top 11? I'm glad you have it. Top 11 is a free to play football management game that is available on your mobile device or your web browser on any laptop or PC you may own. So you can play at your house in your gaming chair. Let's go, let's go. Or even on the go. <clears throat> like right before a Champions League semi final. <laughs> Very funny. Is that all? No, guess what? There's more. Not only can you create your own team and make them the world's best team, but you can also become the world's best manager and take your team to the very top, unlike a certain someone. <clears throat> Graham Potter. Ain't no way this man dissed the manager I'm about to face. <laughs> Shush, Neymar. There's still more, man. Once you dominate world football offline and are ready to take it to the next level, you can play in online leagues and create historic rivalries with other managers around the world. Because guess what? This game has been played by 260 million people all around the world. You can become the next Jose Mourinho, who by the way is the face of the game. So what you're saying is I can play with my friends like Messi and Suarez? Yes, yes you can. Sadly, I don't have any friends, so I play with my dog. Lurita, calm down. You better not score me. Lurita, you're not even paying attention. Lurita, you better not score me. <laughs> you missed, you so much. So what are you waiting for? Download Top 11 now and become the very best from the comfort of your gaming chair. Download Top 11 now by clicking the link on this description or even the pinned comment of this video and make sure to leave down below the funniest team name that you can think of. Thank you Top 11 and good luck Neymar. 11 minutes in, here comes Messi with a brilliant through ball to Neymar in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final. Can Neymar go ahead and keep his cool and he has a shot and yes, he does. Neymar has had a resurgent season for him in his possible final year here for PSG and he takes a 1-0 lead for PSG in this very tough two-legged tie. Carlos Soler plays a brilliant through ball into Neymar Jr. who is looking for his brace in his Champions League semi-final first leg and yes, he gets his brace. Neymar looks like a man who cannot be stopped as he scores PSG second in the first half. And now it's Lionel Messi on the ball. Here comes Lionel Messi searching for that third goal to seal off this first leg victory through ball into Neymar who takes a touch with a shot and he gets his hat trick. Neymar has gotten better and better after each game this season and he now has scored a hat trick in the first leg against Chelsea. Surely PSG are going down to the final and surely Neymar is winning that Champions League to become the best player in the world. And the ref blows a whistle. The first leg is done. 3-1 to PSG. Neymar picks up his match ball. It looks like the media has to be ready to announce Neymar as the best player in the world. Breaking news, Neymar is out for the rest of the season, meaning he will miss the Champions League final. After scoring a hat-trick in the first leg, his injury led to a nil-nil in the second leg. Will PSG win the Champions League, or more importantly, will Neymar win the Ballon d'Or? Here it is, the UEFA Champions League final, Paris Saint-Germain versus Manchester City. Two teams that have never won this prestigious trophy despite the money spent. Haaland versus Mbappe, who will come out on top? Is Mbappe throwing goal? Big opportunity. Yes, that's 1-0. Mbappe with a finish on his left. Yes, come on, boys. Two goals left to go. Lead on Man City. Is Mbappe again throwing goal? A finish this time on his right, but it's 2-0. Thanks to Kylian Mbappe again. This could be a third Kylian Mbappe on his right at the hat trick. It's 3-0 PSG. Surely now that is the Champions League. It's finally time to lift that trophy. Mbappe has his hands on him. Messi. Yes, we have done it. That UCL is mine and that ball and door is mine. Finally have won this competition. And here are the Ballon d'Or nominees. Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe, Karim Benzema, 
I don't even get nominated? I really can't take this anymore. Somehow Neymar hasn't been nominated. Wow, this will leave a lot of questions being asked. I would like to announce my retirement from professional football. I've had enough with injuries and the dodgy decisions made by world football. I'm done. The most talented footballer of all time has retired from world football. What a waste of a career. Kylian Mbappe, how would you feel about Neymar retiring? I saw this coming to be honest. He tried to come and be the main man, but he was never as good as me. It was time his old self left the sport and let the young ones shine. We have reached the end of the 2023-24 season and Mbappe has carried PSG to the league title. He has really started to shine this season. Wow, only two weeks later, Mbappe has won another Champions League. This is becoming a tradition at PSG. Will Mbappe go down as an all-time great? Of course, who else? Mbappe wins the Ballon d'Or. He is truly the best player in the world. He seems to go from strength to strength, and since his ex-teammate Neymar retired, there seems to be nobody standing in his way. Yo, Neymar, how's it going? I've been wanting to talk to you. Oh, hello, Dino. What is that you wanted to say? I've been watching your entire career, and I know you have a lot left in you. Really? I thought my time was up. See, I believe you can still become world's best player. How about this? How about you get back training and I find your club? Do you? Deal. So it looks like Neymar is ready to come back to professional football after a year of retiring as he is back in training. But on the other hand, Dino keeps getting a lot of offers rejected because nobody wants Neymar until eventually this happened. Yes, I would love Neymar at the club. I, I, I tell him. Neymar comes out of retirement and joins Benfica. Haha, <laughs> that is ridiculous. He is such a waste of talent. So it's time for Neymar's Champions League debut with Benfica. There's been a lot of talk in the media, but Neymar has stayed focused. He's still on his route to try and become the best player in the world after being convinced to come out of retirement. But the question is, will he be able to do it at Benfica or will he never have a Ballon d'Or to his name? And now it's Neymar, it's at the box in the 21st minute with a finesse shot and it goes in. Neymar has opened his account here at Benfica against Liverpool away from home. But here come Liverpool chasing a goal on their own as Diego Jota plays Fabinho. And now it's Fabinho, gives it to Jude Bellingham, it's to Luis Diaz with a shot from us at the box and it goes in. What a beautiful goal from Luis Diaz, it's 1-1. However, Neymar has a penalty to go ahead and put Benfica in the lead and cause an upset here at Anfield. Neymar is stepping up slowly and he goes to the left hand side and he puts it away. 2-1 with 45 minutes left to go. In the 70th minute, here come Liverpool. It's now Luis Diaz running down the wing, looking to score an equalizer here against Benfica. Luis Diaz gives it to Jude Bellingham. Bellingham into Diego Jota with a finesse shot and it's 2-2 with 20 minutes left to go. No matter what Neymar does, Benfica can't keep a lead. And now Goncalo Ramos gives it to Neymar as he gets past one defender, he gets past the second. Neymar with a shot for his hat-trick and yes, he has done it. He looks to have caused an upset here at Anfield with 10 minutes left to go. And the ref blows the whistle as Neymar has scored a debut day hat-trick for Benfica in the UCL. Surely Neymar is going to have an amazing season here at Benfica and possibly become the best player in the world. But Neymar's amazing form for Benfica did not stop there as in the next five games Neymar scored a total of four goals to send Benfica to the top of the table to an unlikely round of 16. How far would Neymar take Benfica in this Champions League campaign? Neymar, you know what? I would like to apologize. You are a one-man team with Benfica. Do you see a final with Benfica? We will continue to try our hardest. We have been doing well as a team and I just want to reach as far as possible. Killian, how do you feel about Neymar coming back and dominating with Benfica? It's simple, every team and player has a purple patch. That form will soon come to an end. But it's time for the first round of 16 leg. Atletico versus Benfica. Neymar has a huge test against the best defensive team in the world. Can he go ahead and take Benfica to the quarterfinals? 16 minutes in, Neymar has a penalty against Yano Black, the best goalkeeper in the world. Neymar is gonna step up, has seven goals in the Champions League as he goes to the left hand side and he gets his eighth goal to give Benfica a 1-0 lead. 
But now, in the 70th minute, Soler has a penalty of his own as he goes to the right and equalizes the tie, 1-1. But the ref blows the whistle, it is 1-1. Not the best result, but you know what? Considering Benfica are the underdog, that is a good result to take to the second leg, which is now time for. Can Neymar go ahead and get that goal that sends him to the quarterfinals or where he fell in this hurdle and plummet his reputation even lower? But now, here comes Neymar in the second leg, in the 65th minute with a finesse shot, and he puts it away. 1-0 to Benfica. This is surely going to be an upset. Is this goal enough to send them? To the quarters and yes that Neymar goal was enough to send Benfica to the quarterfinals they have upset Liverpool at Anfield in the group stages they have upset Atletico here in the run of 16 and now it's time for them to go on to the quarterfinals will they be facing Tottenham Hotspur to possibly cause another upset and now Goncalo Guedes with a brilliant through ball into Neymar as it is about to be halftime Neymar Jr. won't be one against Hugo Yoris with a shot and he puts it away 1-0 to Benfica 1-0 to Neymar, another upset is looking to happen. And the ref blows his whistle as this first leg comes to an end. Benfica go into the second leg as Neymar gives them a one goal advantage. Can they go ahead and hold this lead? And it is now time for the return leg at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the new stadium. There's a lot of pressure on Neymar to perform as he's been the only one performing in his team all season. Will he send them to the semi-finals? Seven minutes in, Neymar is pacing down that wing. He is way too fast for all the Tottenham defenders. It's still Neymar 1v1 with a shot and he puts it away, bro. 1-0 to Neymar with so much time left to go. Surely, they're going on to the semis. And here comes Neymar once again, looking to go on his own as he gets past two defenders. And now it's still Neymar. Neymar gets past the fourth. It's still Neymar Jr. It's still Neymar with a shot from the box. What a goal. What a beautiful goal from Neymar. That might be the best goal he has scored in his, net in his past three years. I don't know, that goal with the rainbow flip was pretty sick, but he got past four defenders and had an outside of the box shot to put them 2-0 up, 3-0 up in aggregate. But here comes Neymar once again in the 54th minute with a finesse shot, Robots at the box. Two bangers in one game to send Shirley Benfica to the semis. Neymar has been absolutely amazing since he came back to professional football. And the ref blows the whistle. A huge masterclass for Neymar has sent an unlikely Benfica to the semi-finals of the Champions League where they'll be playing Liverpool. Can Neymar go ahead and send them to Benfica's final for the first time in a very long time? But here it is, the semi-final against Liverpool. Last time Neymar was at Anfield, he had an absolute masterclass scoring a hat-trick. Can he go ahead and do it again in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final? 54 minutes in, Diego Jota has a penalty for Liverpool as he goes to the right. After a boring game in the first half, Diego Jota puts Liverpool in a 1-0 lead. But now, Neymar has a penalty of his own. Can he go ahead and send them to the second leg? Possibly with an equalizer here. It's going to be 1-1. Neymar goes to the left and he does. 1-1 to Benfica. Are they going to go ahead and score another goal? Or will it go to the next leg? 1-1 in aggregates. And no, that was all she wrote for the first leg here at Anfield. It is kind of another upset as Neymar sends them to the next leg. 1-1 tied in aggregate with a huge opportunity to sending Neymar to his another Champions League final. But now it is time for the second leg here in Portugal, here in the Benfica Stadium. One last game, one last hurdle to send Neymar to his first Champions League in a long time, to possibly win his first Champions League in a long time, to possibly become the best player in the world here at Benfica, which does not even look possible at all. And here come Benfica looking dangerous in the 53rd minute after a boring first half. Musa with a through ball into Neymar who is 1v1. Can he go ahead and turn this tie on his head and score the first goal of this game? And yes, he does. The tie has turned on his head as Neymar scores the first goal of the second leg, putting them 2-1 up. Is this the goal that sends Benfica, the underdogs, to the Champions League final? And they have done it. The ref has blown the whistle. Neymar has done it all himself. He has basically scored every single goal in this Champions League season to send them to the Champions League final where Neymar can win his Champions League and possibly become the best player in the world somehow, some way at Benfica. Killian, it's the Champions League final and you're up against Neymar. You said he wouldn't make it this far. Do you think he'll win it all? Fair play to Neymar to reach the final, but there is no way his team and his old self will be as in the final. Neymar, 
Killian has said that you will not win because you're too old. What is your take on this upcoming Champions League final? No, nah, Mbappe is just chatting. He has no chance on the team we've built this season. He will not win this final. But it's time for the Champions League final. Neymar versus PSG, his old club. Benfica, the underdogs versus PSG, the best team in the world. Neymar versus his arch rival, Kylian Mbappe. Who will come out on top? Will Neymar become the best player in the world after this game? Or will he fail and not ever fulfill his potential? 18 minutes in, here comes Goncalo Ramos with a brilliant through ball into Neymar, who is 1v1 against Donnarumma. Neymar with a shot and he puts it away. One goal against PSG, even though they're a man down early in the game. Neymar has possibly given Benfica the Champions League winning goal and the goal that makes him the best player in the world. But now, here come PSG looking for a goal of their own in the 25th minute. It's Fabian Ruiz as he goes to set with a finesse shot and it goes in. Neymar only has him himself and nine other men as they are one man down. Can they go ahead and still somehow win this game? But once again, here come PSG as Carlos Soler is back from loan to from Atletico. It's Soler into Kylian Mbappe with a shot and it's 2-1. Straight like that. Benfica have lost their lead and PSG and Mbappe have taken their first lead of the game. But it's now Renato Sanchez running down the wing against his former teammates. It's Kylian Mbappe who gives it to Carlos Soler with a shot and straight back from loan. Carlos Soler scores another goal. 3-1 to PSG. Benfica are a man down. Is Neymar's dream of becoming the best player in the world over? Soler with a brilliant through ball. It's to Kylian Mbappe who's looking for a second with a chip shot and it goes in. What are PSG doing? They're absolutely destroying. No mercy for Benfica and Neymar as Mbappe scores a second to make it 4-1. And now it's Fabian Ruiz with a through ball into Carlos Soler, who is also looking for a second. Soler with a shot from of the box and it goes in, man. Neymar and Benfica. Benfica defense, basically. What are you doing? 5-1 in the Champions League final. That has to be the worst result ever in a CL final. What an embarrassment, man. And the ref blows the whistle, man. There was absolutely no competition in this game as Benfica are completely embarrassed. Neymar was the only man on the pitch at this point as PSG win the third Champions League trophy in a row. Will Neymar ever win another Champions League trophy? Will Neymar ever become the best player in the world? Yo, Neymar, unlucky on the loss, but stay humble. Stay humble. I know, man, but Mbappe was in my head. I had to say something. And Shanya, ma, but best players in the world, they don't talk trash. Sounds like you have a phone call. Take it. Yo, Ney, it's nice to meet you, bro. How are you doing? Doing good, Erling. What's up? What did you need? Well, I was going to say this. I know we don't know each other, but we do have something in common. We both want to take down Kylian Mbappe. And I believe if you join City, you can win the Ballon d'Or and I can become the best striker in the world. You down? Hey, sounds like a good idea. I'm in. Neymar has joined Erling Haaland at Man City. Will Neymar break his curse by winning the Ballon d'Or? And will he help Man City to reach their first Champions League trophy? What a season we have on our hands here. Neymar Jr. has linked up with the young Dimono that is Erling Haaland at Manchester City. He steps out hoping to put past failures to bed with one final push for the greatest trophy in world football. This is the Champions League and it's live! So here we are again, another round 16 game, but against your old teammates Benfica, will you get payback as they dragged you down last year? No, I will do my best to send the city to the quarters, but I have full respect for Benfica. Another season for Neymar and it's another knockout stage game in the round of 16, but this time against his former teammates in the first leg back in Portugal. When Neymar crumble under the pressure of playing against his old teammates or we go ahead and continue his journey of becoming the best player in the world and break Man City's curse of never winning the Champions League. 24 minutes in, it's Neymar outside the box, still Neymar dribbling with a brilliant through ball, it's Erling Haaland with a shot and he puts it low and hits the post, I thought that went in. Erling Haaland on the ball now with a pass, it's Neymar, this partnership has been beautiful this season, Neymar cuts his head with a beautiful turn and he puts it away, 
1-0 against his old teammates, Neymar is lucky to go to another final this season. And the ref blows the whistle as the first leg comes to an end in Estadio de Benfica as Neymar's only goal was enough to send them with a 1-0 lead to the second leg. And now it's time for the returning leg here at the Etihad Stadium. Can Neymar and Man City and Haaland go ahead and finish the job as they're searching for a Champions League final of their own? Erling Haaland is on the ball now in the 40th minute with another brilliant pass into Neymar. This partnership has been so far so good and he has a shot and he puts it away. Surely at home, Man City should be wrapping this up. And now it's Julian Alvarez on the run in the 81st minute looking to finish off this tie. Julian Alvarez into Erling Haaland and it's just too easy here at the Etihad Stadium. Benfica had no chance in these past two legs and Neymar Erling Haaland and Man City are going to the quarterfinals. But now it was time for the quarterfinals at the Etai Stadium first leg against Borussia Dortmund, which ended in a draw, no, no. But now it's time for the return leg, which hopefully won't be another boring affair as Man City have the tough test on coming up against the best football fans in the world, the Yellow Wall. Can they go ahead and get a goal or win this game to send them to the semis or will they fall to have where many have fallen before the yellow wall? 72 minutes in, it's been another boring game, but here comes Erling Haaland, looking to change that with a through ball into Neymar, 1v1 against the keeper and he puts it away. Surely this is the goal that sends City to the semi-finals to possibly reach a final eventually, 1-0. And the ref blows the whistle as it is a 1-0 victory after two boring games. Neymar sends Man City to the semifinals. Two games left for another Champions League final for Neymar. And after a boring two-legged tie against Borussia Dortmund, we're hoping for something different here in the first leg of the semifinals against Arsenal. Can they go ahead and get a good first lead? And the ref blows the whistle as it was another 0-0 draw, a boring first leg. Let's see if Man City and Neymar can go ahead and deliver on the second leg. From Etihad to the Emirates Stadium, it's time for the second leg of the Champions League semi-final. Man City versus Arsenal, one game away. If Neymar can go ahead and secure this victory, he gets yet again another opportunity to win a Champions League, to break Man City's curse and to become the best player in the world. Rodri gives a pass, it's to Neymar, and it's Neymar. Neymar with a rainbow flick, pass to Arsenal defender, Neymar with a beautiful goal. Neymar has scored a yet again another beautiful goal to show that he is the most talented player in world football history. But can he go ahead and continue this form onto the Champions League final if this game comes to a victory and become the best player in the world? And the ref blows the whistle, we are seeing Neymar in another Champions League final. I'm so excited to see who he's going to face, but what a beautiful goal from Neymar to send them to Man City's Champions League final. Can he go ahead and break this curse? Killian, four finals in four years, another final against Neymar. What have you got to say? I've said it before, I will say it again. Neymar will never beat me. He is old and should retire. And once again, Neymar has been given the task to play against his old teammates, again to play against Kylian Mbappe. This face off just cannot come to an end. But the question is, will Kylian Mbappe come out on top as he has won the past three Ballon d'Ors and the past three Champions League finals? Or will Neymar win his first Champions League final in over five years and his first ever Ballon d'Or and become the best player in the world? His skills were raw, his talent divine, a spark that could light up any team's shine. But as the years went by, he lost his way, the promise unfulfilled, his spirit in disarray. Yet he never gave up, he never quit, for the fire within still burned. Bit by bit and every match, he fought to reclaim the glory that he once had and still could attain. 60 minutes in is Bernardo Silva to Rodri with a beautiful through ball into Neymar. Can he go ahead and make it 1 0 here in the 16th minute as he goes inside with a scoop, with a shot, but it's a brilliant save from Ederson. And now it's Ruben Diaz on the ball as he takes it away from Mbappe, but he loses it. It's killing Mbappe on the ball from an interception and he puts it away. Ruben Diaz has had a stinker as Kylian Mbappe scores the first goal in this game looking like he's gonna win yet again another Champions League final. And now here come PSG once again it's Carlos Soler. Soler with a power shot but it's an easy save for Edison. Edison gives a pass it's Ruben Diaz please do not have please do not myself again. He loses it no Soler and now it's Kylian Mbappe with a shot and it goes in 2-0 right before halftime. 
Killing a puppet, has given PSG a 2 0 lead. Can Neymar and Man City come back from this? There is no chance I'm gonna lose again. I'm gonna turn this game around even if it's the last thing I do. Only 15 minutes left to go as Amir Laporte gives it to Neymar. As he gets past one, he gets past the second defender. It's Neymar, cuts back. It's Neymar Jr. on his left foot and he puts it away. Can this goal be the one that gets back into this game as he picks up the ball? It's 2 1 to Man City. Can they go ahead and get a second or third goal to win this final? Three minutes left to go. Once again, it's Amir Laporte with a through ball. It's a Neymar as he goes back. It's Neymar Jr. on his left foot. Once again, with a shot. And he has equalized the game with one minute left to go. Neymar has saved Man City. Neymar has saved his career, his reputation, his potential. It's 2-2 now in the 90th minute. Who will win this game? Neymar or Kylian Mbappe? Dude, dude, that's crazy. I can't let Neymar win this. It's the 117th minute as Ederson plays it at the back. This could be the last opportunity of extra time for Man City or PSG to get a victory. And now it's Bernardo Silva with a great pass into Neymar. Oh, surely this is the one. It's Neymar. It's still Neymar. Neymar, come on, keep fighting. It's Neymar. Still dribbling. Neymar, he loses it. No, but Bernardo Silva wins it back. Come on, Bernardo. Don't mess up here. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo gives it into De Bruyne. Into Neymar with a first time finish. And it goes in. Neymar has won the Champions League final in the last minute of extra time to seal off his hat trick and to break the Man City curse. There is absolutely no way. Neymar has finally beaten Kylian Mbappe surely with only a couple seconds left to go. This surely had to be the last kick of the game. And the ref has blown the whistle. Finally, Neymar has gotten out of Messi and Kylian Mbappe's shadow. Finally, Man City broke the curse. And surely, this should be the reason why Neymar wins his first ever Ballon d'Or. And Man City and Neymar lift their first ever Champions League title. But the question is, will Neymar become the best player in the world. I know Neymar will win this. He's the greatest Brazilian of all time. And the winner of the Ballon d'Or is... Neymar Jr. Make sure to download Top 11, link down in the description to become the world's best manager. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys will definitely enjoy me making Mr. Beast the world's best player.